Hey guys, welcome to Team Pandori. This is Emi Chicken, and today we're going to check out a games bundle from Humble. They're usually incredibly cheap and unlock in your Steam account. This recent one seems to be geared towards children. And I bet you're wondering, are any of these games actually any good? I mean, these are huge franchises. To get all of the titles, you'll need to pay at least $10. And if you have a solid foundation on morals, you should adjust the charity slider. Now that's all good, they'll be in your Steam account in no time. Let's check out these games. First up, Adventure Time. You know what? I love Adventure Time. It's a great little TV show that can be enjoyed from very young all the way to adulthood. This game, however, sucks. Dressed up as an RPG, the battle system is as simple as it is awkward. Having to push diagonals when you only have three options? It seems like the devs need to take a step back, understand its target audience, and then thoroughly test it with that audience before release. Overall, it feels a lot like the Futurama game on the PlayStation 2. An amazing franchise slapped into an average game at best. Adventure Time on a good day would be pretty meh, but as I had a few controller issues and saw the poor gameplay mechanics, Adventure Time feels like a very, very old game. Good start to the list, down you go. Next up, Ben 10. This one is obviously from a TV show called Ben 10. Do you want a brawler that has little to no assets? Well, this is the one for you. I fought the same three enemies for 25 minutes straight, and honestly, I was done in the first five minutes of this. Then positive reviews in Steam are complete BS. This is crap 10. Straight in the trash you go. Guess who's next? Ben 10 Power Trip. Remember that last game? Well, this is nothing like that. This plays like a 3D platformer, much like Mario 64, but with Ben 10. This game is very heavy with fetch quests, but in this case, I don't think that really matters. The visuals are nice, and the controls are very tight. And at the 20 minute mark, we get the option to play co-op and split screen. Ben 10 Power Trip is awesome good, um, good. Yeah, this is all right. Moving on with Crayola Scoot. Mix Splatoon and Tony Hawk, and a scooter, with cranes. Yeah, this is Tony Hawk's with a lick of paint, and it does actually look rather nice. For kids, the draw is undoubtedly the paint aesthetics, and it's shameless enough to even use the same colours associated with Splatoon. But the control scheme makes things very confusing, and the large slabs of text for the tutorials, kids are never going to read that. And then for the game mechanics, it's like Splatoon cross with Tony Hawk, which makes for a hat on a hat, confusing at best. Much like back in the day for Tony Hawk's 2, this is kind of good in split screen multiplayer, but the controls kind of let it down. Play Tony Hawk's 2 instead. DreamWorks Dragons Dawn of New Riders Dragons is a light-hearted action RPG. Easiest comparison would be that it's Zelda mixed with a hint of Diablo. The graphics are quite nice, and the controls are actually very tight. The characters from the movie are in here, but they're somewhat mangled, much like as if they're in Celebrity Deathmatch. The amount of reading alienates the younger audience. This game would have been way better with voiceovers. Dragons is meh. Next up, Jumanji the video game. We used to have the video of Jumanji, it was a pretty decent film. But much like in the film, if you're playing Jumanji alone, it's a ball fest. Even though the visuals are up to snuff, you really need the team. Online is pretty dead, but if you have a few friends for a local multiplayer, it may be worth it. For kids, not really. But if there's four of them in the same room, perhaps? But there are plenty of other games that we can recommend over this one. Dungeon Defenders is a great one. Paw Patrol on a roll. Finally, a game that understands its audience. This game is a simple platformer that only needs a few buttons on the controller to play. Some may see it as a good introduction to the platforming genre, but there is no real substance here, making it a very cheap cash-in on the license. Paw Patrol on a roll is like bog roll on the bowl. Next up, more Paw Patrol. Mighty Pups Save Adventure Bay. Much like the last, this one understands the audience and definitely brings it to the next level. Taking inspiration from Mario 3D World, the game is extremely easy on the eye and controls like a champ. While it is a collectathon, there is plenty to do and even unlockable minigames. DDR Dog. I can't lie, I actually had fun with this. 
Paw Patrol with a long title is a good game. Next up, Peppa Pig. I was looking forward to this game the most. For a young child, this would be perfect. You are the new kid in town and become friends with Peppa Pig. You customize your own character and jump straight in. At first glance, it's an extremely faithful rendition of the TV show. And then they start talking. The voices are totally off. And for the most part, the graphics are on point. But then things kind of start to take a nosedive. At first, it's the animations and it slowly gets a bit weirder. For example, Petro Pony is extremely fascinated with his rubber friend. Giving this to your child might be similar to when you got a virtual pet instead of a Tamagotchi. Peppa Pig is kind of meh. Last one on our list is Transformers Battlegrounds, a turn-based strategy game in the same vein as XCOM with Transformers. It has beautiful graphics and it looks pretty damn nice. Even with most of the game being on the battlefield, the dialogue is rather good and fully voiced. It may be seen as a good introduction to the turn-based strategy genre, ideally from around 10 to 13 year olds. Any younger, they wouldn't understand the concept. Any older, they'd be yearning for the complexities that are in the XCOM and the Front Mission series. On the whole, it does actually play rather good, but with the only drawing factor being the Transformers license and the easy start to the genre, the target audience is extremely limited. Is this a good game? Almost? Yes, average at best. So yeah, that's the 10 games of this pack. And do you agree with this tier list? If you want to make yourself heard, please comment down below. As always, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. If you want to support our work, please check the links down below. Now let's sit back and listen to some Peppa Pig. And who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything, even Potato City. Pepper is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Pepper. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> 